So what did this insurance club on? Uh, well, I've uh, written down his name and his extension number. Uh, he said there were a few things that he hadn't made clear on the phone, mostly about the cause of the accident. Oh. He wants to know if there was another car involved. Right. And he wants to know if there was any mechanical failure. I mean, do they think that you put yourself in intensive care and have your leg amputated just to fiddle them? It's a disgrace, Don. It's a all delaying tactics. They sit round them and ignoring while you're stuck in this place. They know you weren't drinking, so what else do they need to know? Shut up! What? Just, just shut up about the accident, OK? I don't want to talk about the accident. Oh, sorry. I don't realise. You don't really like talking to me, do you, Dan? No. Right, Uncle. No, stay. But I don't get many visitors. I'll stay as long as you want, you know that, Dan. I think Gail's finding it a bit hard because, well, Martin can't help her as much, you know, with all this studying. And Nicky is still a little terror. I like to see. Well, uh, you should come round, Dan. They'd only be so happy to see you. In fact, we'd all only be so happy to see you. I don't think I'll ever go down Cronhester Street again. Don't say that, Don. Oh, it's no bit lost to me. Don, I've walked up and down hours here trying to pluck up courage to come in. Do you know why? Because every time you reject me, it hurts me more than the first time. And then I look around this place and to think that you'd rather be stuck here on your own than living at home with me, well, that really hurts. Where do you get off, Ivy? How dare you talk to me about her? No, you, you listen, you listen me out, Don. I keep coming here, even though you keep telling me you don't want me. Because, well, I want you. I want you to know I'll always go on wanting you. There'll always be somebody that wants you, Don. I want you to know that so that it might help you. Yeah, help me do what? Well, I'll need to get out of this depression. Ivy, I'm not depressed except when you're around. It's your presence that depresses me. Once you're gone from here, my heart will be singing like a bird. Come on, Don. All this anger and everything. If that's what people go through when they've been in a big trauma. They try and take it out on other people, though. Vera was on oh, time Vera. in the <laughs> So Vera's a clinical psychologist now, as well as a, a shelf stacker. She's taken a lot on, isn't she? Look, I came here to tell you about the insurance man. Because I thought I was doing you a favour. Shall I tell you why the insurance man is asking so many questions? Because he thinks I tried to top myself. You must well, suppose they have to ask that of everybody. Oh, no, they don't. But they're asking me because I've got it written all over me because I did. There. I did try to top myself. And you drove me to it. And that is why I'm never coming back. Because you cost me a leg and you damn near cost me my life. And you will never do that to me again. 